In the upcoming 4.5 patch, Genshin Impact is introducing a new banner called the Chronicled Wish. I'm going to go over some pros and cons from the viewpoint of a 1.0 player. First off, let's address a crucial detail. When you wish, you have to select a specific character or weapon from the start. Once chosen, you're locked into that pool of either characters or weapons, and there's no getting something outside of that. What that means is that setting a chart towards a character like Jean for example means that the next 5 star has a 50% chance of either getting her or missing and getting a different 5 star in the pool. If you miss then you get 1 fate point and the next 5 star goes from a 50% chance to 100%. It won't ever be the weapon because we told the game I only want characters in this example. This means that you shouldn't ever throw in random single pulls and hope for the 5 star if you don't have enough wishes left to guarantee another pity and see it through, as the pity system doesn't carry over to the next banner. The pity is the same as the character event banner for both the characters and the weapons, meaning you can expect soft pity realistically between 75 and 80 wishes. Remember this also applies to the weapons on this banner, even though the existing weapon banner's soft pity is around 65 to 70 wishes. One major downside is the point system doesn't transfer between banners, similar to the current weapon banner's fate point system. This forces players to hoard wishes for a specific banner without knowing for sure if it'll even be available in the next update cycle. This lack of clarity can make planning and committing wishes challenging. I don't think a banner's lineup would ever fall under leak content, so there's probably no way to actually know what's coming. Moving on to the power level of the Chronicle Wish banner itself, despite featuring standard characters, it contains a 50-50 chance, which feels like a missed opportunity to have replaced the existing standard banner and allow players to use both types of wishes on it. However, the absence of 4 star characters implies that it'll likely be random, diminishing the banner's appeal for those who wanted specific characters on a banner or weapons. People like to think that blue wishes will be so much better, but who has a stockpile of at least 160 of them in the first place? However, if they let you supplement your rolls using both pink and blue fates, it would have been a fantastic way to cut down on the wishes, since you get 5 blue fates monthly from the shop and 5 from doing the free battle pass every patch cycle. Regarding the weapons offered in this new banner, while it takes fewer wishes on average to guarantee what you want, there's a trade off in the power level. Even with the current weapon banner's higher pity rate to guarantee a weapon, it offers more value overall and a better chance to obtain featured weapons early on because there's a lower pity, and how you should only roll on it when there's at least two good weapons already. However, the Chronicled Wish lacks this consolation prize, resulting in disappointment with a standard 1.0 weapon on every single miss guaranteed. Looking at the bright side, for players who haven't obtained certain characters like Jean to pair with Farina, this is currently the only way to guarantee them. In the current lineup, it's excluding some bad characters whose consolations are overall pretty worthless. And it's better to miss and to get a character like Klee, Eula, or Albedo in my opinion than to get a C7 Chi Chi. This is speculation on my end, but the introduction of this banner could be a response to the reluctance to feature less popular characters on main banners. Like the time Eula didn't get a rerun from 2.3 all the way to 3.8. Characters that don't necessarily perform poorly but struggle to attract sales for various reasons might have a place to find here. Looking ahead, characters from various regions may be included, potentially increasing the banner's value. In conclusion, while spending wishes on the upcoming 4.5 banner might not be wise currently, it holds promise for the future, especially as new regions and characters are introduced. So it's best to like keep an eye out for developments beyond Monsta and Leeway themes where the quality of characters is expected to improve significantly. This means for the floor for power level will rise since the pool will be more saturated with stronger units and weapons, making 50-50s feel significantly less worse than the existing banner. The issue will just be one of time and feeling like your favorite character has been on the shelf for a long time. But anyway, that's all I got for now. We'll see how the banner is, but good luck if you're rolling on it on 4.5.